going on ladies and gentlemen? I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein and this is Vehicle Virgins. This has been a long requested video. I've seen it all throughout the comments. What is faster, the Lamborghini or the E63? Now to some people it's obvious, to others it's not. Let's go over some of the specs of the car. So this is a 2015 Lamborghini Huracan with a VF supercharger kit on it. So 805 horsepower, it weighs about 3,450 pounds. Then come over to the E63. This is a 2018 E63 stock, makes 603 horsepower. It's been tuned by VF to 740. Now, in general you'd think, of course the Lamborghini is going to destroy it, but I raced my friend Z06 the other day, which is just about as fast as a stock Huracan and pulled away. Sorry for telling the story, James. And I've got a special guest. My sister is visiting. How's it going, Maddie? And she going? actually also has a YouTube channel, so I've got a link in the description below for that. Go ahead and check it out. If you like it, subscribe to her channel. If you hate it, then sorry, Maddie. It's not really my fault. Right now, leave your vote in the comments below. What do you think's going to win, the Lamborghini or the E63? Still absolutely loving the Uber sticker on the Lamborghini. And speaking of Uber, on June 22nd, this Friday at noon Pacific Standard Time, I am dropping the second Uber video. That's right, the legendary Lamborghini Uber video. Well, it got a heck of a lot cooler. We have a McLaren and a bunch of stuff I guarantee you have never seen before. So get hyped. Taking a better look at the Lamborghini V10 with the VF Supercharger kit on it. Here's a good look at the twin turbocharged V8 in the AMG. It's been awesome having my sister visit, been having family come out more and just chill at the house. I am so pumped guys for this Uber video on Friday. I've been wanting to do another Uber video for a long time and after filming it, all I can say is uh, it went above and beyond any expectations that I had about the video. So look, obviously the Lamborghini is likely to win here with its higher power to weight ratio, but I've really just been curious how much faster really is it? From a roll, what's the difference between an 805 horsepower Lambo and my 740 horsepower E63? I have been anticipating this race for a long time, so I am finally really, really ready to see which car is faster. You guys pumped or what? So this GoPro is the winning angle for the Lamborghini Huracan. If it takes off and it pulls on the E63, which I think is likely, it'll be captured in this camera. Now this is the losing angle. If the Lamborghini Huracan is captured in this the entire way, well then the E63 is faster. And as always, professional drivers on a closed course, we're not driving. Well, that's exactly what I thought would happen. The extra 60 horsepower, of course, makes a slight difference, but the fact that the Huracan is 1,100 pounds lighter than the E63 is going to give it a massive advantage in a little heads-up race. Excuse me, ma'am, do you have a uh, fuck Prius's key tag? Yeah, well, don't mind if I do. <laughs> link in the description below. Seriously, guys, these things are pretty dope. I've got a link in the description below to buy one. Each one you purchase contributes to making vehicle versions better and better each and every day. As you guys can tell, with the new camera setup, I am pumped about making vehicle versions the best it ever has been. All right, now it is time to go to Beverly Hills because they're having their annual Father's Day Concourse car show. Unfortunately, Dad, I love you. Happy Father's Day. That's when I'm filming this today. He is up in Northern California, so we aren't able to hang out today. Apparently, there is even a McLaren Senna there at the event, and I've got something special to tell you guys about the Senna. <music> The perfect accessory for any Los Angeles drive. The f 
Prius key tag. Look at that thing up there. I swear to God, we've seen about 30 of these in the ride over to Beverly Hills. Hello, you've got a small one. Finally arrived in Beverly Hills, decided to valet the car because parking is crazy right now and check out what is in the valet parking lot right now. 570S, a beautiful, oh, is that a spider performante? Oh, it is, that's bad. And then check this out, guys. Dan's Aguera RS. Oh my God, is that beautiful? This is such a sick event every year, and I think they might have the McLaren Senna at the Ogara booth right here. Let's see what the rest of the show has in store. <laughs> All right, definite favorite car of the show so far, Lamborghini Mira SV. I actually haven't seen one in this color and with those gold wheels. CTR3, which I believe they take a Cayman and they basically convert it into something that looks like a race car Carrera GT, or kind of a hybrid between a Carrera GT and a Porsche GT1 car. All right, instantly I have new favorite cars of the show. Check out this lineup right now. All silver, we've got a CLK GTR race car, behind that a Jag, and then behind that is a Porsche 959. What a lineup. It's an XJ220 race car. That is epic. All right, well, it turns out it is not a 959, but it is an RUF race car that looks very similar to a 959. The EB110, the crazy part is I didn't actually know that these had quad turbos. I found that out a couple years ago. That's where the quad turbo comes from in the Chiron and the Veyron. 356 shirt right next to one. So this is a pretty cool display. We've got the original Ferrari California right here. These things are worth well north of $5 million. And then the successor to the Ferrari California, the Portofino next to it. I take the old one. So the Pagani Zonda has always been my favorite line of Paganis. They've made a million different Zondas, but honestly, when they came out with the Wyra at first, I wasn't as impressed with the design. But with the release of the BC and the BC Roadster, I think this might just be the best looking Pagani ever made. All right, this poor Porsche is giving every other car at the car show a run for its money in terms of coolest vehicle. This is a 997 GT2 RS, which only came in a manual. Now that they've come out with the new one, popularity for GT2 RSs has skyrocketed. It used to be the GT3 RS was the king because it was naturally aspirated. This thing made over 600 horsepower, rear wheel drive, manual. Now they made the new ones and these went from 220 grand to well over four or 500. All right guys, well thank you for making it this far into the video. The big surprises that has to do with the Senna is that in a couple days, I'm actually flying out to Portugal, courtesy of McLaren, to drive this on the track at Estoril. I cannot wait to see how unbelievable this thing really is on the track. It's gonna be some sick content. I know a lot of people aren't a fan of the looks, but when you see it in person, it actually does change your opinion on the car. When I saw the launch of the Senna GTR in Geneva, I was actually really impressed with the way it looked. Sure, it doesn't look like your typical road car, but that's the point, right? It literally looks, that is a loud Aventador. It literally looks like a race car that somehow is present on the road. Glass inserts on the doors. They did that so it feels a little bit more like an open wheeled car experience. So you can see the ground right next to your feet. That is sick. All right guys, in four days from when I'm filming this, I'm gonna be sitting in the driver's seat on a track in a Senna in Portugal. I can't freaking wait. All right, guys, well, I think this is the perfect place to end the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the race with the E63 against the Lamborghini Huracan, and then coming out to Rodeo Drive and telling you about the surprise with the McLaren Senna. Remember, key tags for sale, link in description below. I look forward to seeing you next video.